Bro, the music, man. Dude, the music is so good, man. Dude, Mbark know how to make trailers, man. Like, how to make hypes trailers. Like, I've got a little bit of goosey bumps right here. So, obviously, our predictions were kind of correct. We said that there might be a 4v4 or 5v5 game mode, and that is going to be called Power Shift, um, which, by the looks of it, we have here, uh, it looks like a moving uh, platform which you would have to stand on. So it's very similar to what we've had in the Overwatch mode. Uh, I think it's going to be an awesome uh, mode. I'm not sure if it's uh, for ranked as well, which is interesting, right? Could be for ranked, but that'd be a bit weird. Um, obviously, we do about the game mode and stuff like that and the new gadgets. I will get into that very shortly. But look, nighttime is insane. Like, I, I've... Like, this is, like, bottled up, man. Like, nighttime is just absolutely beautiful, man. I think this might be an incredible start of the map. It looks like... Like, I'm not sure, like, exactly what this is, uh, specifically from the lore. Like, we can see at the top it says, from CNS with love. Um, but you can see, like, obviously with the game stuff, that we kind of have, like... It looks like we're in the mainframe of the game, right? It looks like when CNS has taken over and people are saying the lore, it was, like, central nervous system. This is, like, maybe the central nervous system, but this is, like, uh, towards uh, that era in the lore or where in the law we're stepping um towards that so yeah obviously i can assume that the, the obviously the skins are obviously battle pass skins i'm assuming or it could be cosmetics i don't know but just look at this map man dude embark have gone crazy and if you look like really closely this was an arena so i don't know what like, like in the lore is we'll have to obviously uh shout out to, to rock and a spear again we'd have to like find out what this has to do with the law but it looks like it's either uh, an arena that was in construction that might have been put off to the side right and when it was put off to the side it allowed it, it gathered dust technically and it allowed uh, the hackers like cns to get into the game uh, because they accessed the game through this map for example i don't know fully again i'm not like a, a law master here right here we can see that on the very uh, middle we've got this like cool guy uh looks like the kind of the bandana effect let's call with the jacket uh, actually really really sick we have another uh reskin variant of the collection of course if you guys remember this is a very common uh outfit style right now but this one's in fully black uh right now instead so that's very interesting but on the right here this actually was uh, if i'm not mistaken an outfit that was originally uh shown in the closed betas and alpha so it's actually really cool now that we're starting to get some of those things put into the game uh, we've got a guy here holding a cube for like an emote um and then, oh, whoa, wait, what is that? Is that a little test dummy? Bro, you know what would be kind of cool? Um, if, if these were, like, the new bots, the new AI, because right now you have, like, the the, the, the bots that are, like, st like still, and they're, like, the red. I think it'd be kind of cool if this was, like, the new bots, or what the new bots look like, if they, like, reskinned the bots to make them, like, a little bit more character-like as well. There's another character here in the middle, too. Look, this looks like some hack hacker outfit or something you can see i, I don't know if this is just the, the text here or if this is actually what the outfit looks like a new take here with uh, a bit like the, the nerdy outfit we have like the goth girl on the right uh in the middle we have cutesy little uh, little hoodie here and this is actually really really cool obviously the baseball bat uh, cosmetic for light uh for the sword in the game and on the very left uh, look at that it's a new pet so with that little leak we had yesterday uh it was like a little pet this is the pet right here as well so awesome uh really really cool the outfits giving you that kind of retro -y, like kind of nerdy theme as well uh super super cool and then you go over to like a bit more of the meme stuff so you're like, i don't know why we have a bunny i don't know what that that, that take is in the game and bark am i dumb maybe you guys in the comments can tell me how we have a bunny uh, we have an owl outfit an owl owl fit uh-huh and then on the right i don't know what the heck uh, that is but it's still cool uh with the little, the, the little banner and hat the uh tv head cosmetic here we can see this little guy uh, smiling with uh the the skin here i think if i'm not mistaken that is um for the m11 uh, going into it as well. Some of the gadgets. So this one right here is a throwable, um, and I'm not sure. If, if this is the M11, so I think it's a throwable for light, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and I think what did I say? A gateway. Yeah. So it's like a teleport that you can go uh, uh, go through. I guess I'm going to assume. Um, so it's going to be really interesting. Obviously, another take is okay. But if you can go through it, you know, obviously because it's a new gadget, we could ask, you know, could, can grenades go through it? Uh, obviously, we'd have to find out. Obviously, in terms of that, I don't think we saw anything in terms of the. Uh, gameplay itself no it's just them running through it um so that's interesting as well because if, if 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 you can interact with this teleport then there is things that it builds on the game and builds on the mess right like it's not just going to be able to see what it was before and um as you can see when we go into it if, if you can combine things with things 
the the, uh, the the ability for things to grow the outcomes are like a tree branch it can be like so so much different we can see here new uh gadget as well the data reshaper i'm not too sure who this is on right now i can't see it was that a weapon they can see who it's on all right okay so this is the famas the new gun as well so this is for medium so you can turn things into things so look here this is a gadget this is a an APS or a turret. They just jump in and turn it into a into a sign, into a billboard. What is going on, man? You could send players in, and any utility you have on the ground could just be reshaped into a, a flower pot or, or or a gas or a goo grenade, for example. Like, what is going on, man? This is crazy. This is going to change a lot of the dynamics in the game that we're currently there, right? So right now we have, like, what you guys could ask, like, Fix, what are Embark targeting in this? Why are they adding these things in? And why are these such a big deal? They, I might be wrong, and these may not be as powerful as you guys would expect. However, knowing that you can go to a place that is being defended and be able to reshape those things into something else is kind of crazy. Um, obviously, you know, you'd have to get close range because by the looks of it, you have to get really close here, but it's like a hacking tool. And uh, this is actually really, really cool for the medium class. So it's gonna be interesting to see what you guys do or the dynamics here. And uh, again, this is gonna be like, for me, theory crafting. Oh man, I'm gonna be going in depth in this. So we have a, a two mines and a turret reshaped and just be able to steal it. That's crazy. Next one, dematerializer, a new spec. Okay, so obviously specialization is like the healing beam or like the charge and slam or like the invis uh, on light, for example. This class is for medium again, I think. Medium class again, yes. Yeah, so medium class again, you can open walls up. I think, is it temporarily or permanently? I'm not sure. But you can open walls up here and then shoot through those walls. You know, before, if you were playing a, a, as, a, as a medium, and let's say, for example, you guys know that I have solo guys, right? And I say, as a medium, you kind of have to, like, be able to stop people from stealing, but you don't have that explosive or destructive damage that's easy to do that stuff. So you have to find, like, a red barrel, for example, to drop the floor. Well, in this now, you have that directly. So playing as a solo or in a solo queue game, it's going to maybe be more beneficial than the healing beam maybe but what you're able to do here is to be able to manipulate the cash out so people that are stealing it can stop stealing it so then you can stop those last minute steals guys we already mentioned it before and we've said before we don't like how steals happen last minute well these things can help towards that is it is, are these things going to revolutionize the game in the finals no but i think it's going to be interesting it's going to change stuff up to make the game feel a lot more fresh uh, than it is so really really cool gadget and then finally the anti-gravity cube that's cool. So basically, this is going to raise the cash out. Um, and initially, when I saw this, I thought that this anti-gravity cube right here um, would kind of be used to stop cash outs being stolen. So again, we've obviously been saying that one of the frustrations we've been having is how uh, teams run in, they put utility down, and then steal the cash out last second. Why is this going to be beneficial? Well, obviously, if you have the current meta right now, where you have, uh, for example, um, double heavies and a medium, uh, the medium steals, double heavies have shields and shotgun so they can stop uh, you from, you know, if you get close, then you can just shoot the cash out, right? Well, now you have this anti-gravity cube. It's going to kind of negate that. You have things in the game that can combine with it, right? So you could temporarily anti-gravity cube at the bottom, put down a bounce pad, bounce that, bounce the uh, cash out off. So then you're not playing the cash out in the default position. So then you could be set up in a much better position. Uh, I wasn't too sure about if anything else was happening. Obviously, we saw the FAMAS in the game. The problem with heavy right now, as we've said, and you guys have seen in my videos is that heavy has uh shotgun or lowest gun um has the uh rpg c4 and dome shield that's a very very simple thing the dome shield in my opinion personally because i'm not playing teams i'm more solo queuing was a, a bit more of a flex between having the gas grenade or gas mines so i'm able to stop cash outs being stolen now that we have this anti-gravity cube now i'm going to be thinking to myself wait can I use this to manipulate the environment around me or manipulate things such as the cash out and where it lands um, to be able to help me and my team more? And that's the thing about the finals is it's, it's building on this, building up uh, with things. And this is just crazy. Uh, obviously funny as well the video we, we spoke about the 5v5 power shift i think this mode's gonna be sick is it in ranked we'll find out we don't know um i, I don't know if it is or not that, that's not the point though i think casually this is going to be a really really fun game mode and this actually gives embark the data that they need in exploring for future game modes right so you guys might be thinking well why is this important why are we adding this into the game first of all it's brand new it's gonna be very very fun and it's gonna be unique second of all i think this is a secret test into expanding out on what the universe of the finals is going to be initially embark might have envisioned it as 3v3 v3 v3 and then obviously they did this ltm test with solo modes well now they have this 5v5 mode the problem is they haven't tested it so this is a fully fledged mode that's going to be put in the game straight away but if it's received well 
that it allows them to know and have that data to say, hey, we can expand on a 5v5. Maybe the finals goes into a 5v5 direction, which would be kind of crazy, right? Well, you guys also might not like that. And obviously, I, I do enjoy the 3v3, 3v3, 3v3 mode right now, but it's still very, very cool that we have this in the game. So obviously, crazy. I, I'm not too sure exactly with the uh, pad itself. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm assuming that the more people that are on it, it moves around. Again, very similar to so, like the push mode in Overwatch. Yeah, so we have right here, if I'm not mistaken, if you see, bang, bang, bang. We have a triple burst pistol. Triple burst pistol. Is, no, I don't know. Okay, you guys can call me crazy here. So I'm, I don't know what pistol this is specifically, but is this for heavy or light? I'm not sure. So Al Aloha, thank you, shout out to Aloha, uh, Ribby, uh, Nonic, um, and Pesky in my Discord. Uh, basically, they're, they're helping me out with things I miss because I'm a bit of a dummy. So yes, there is a new shotgun. So this is the heavy shotgun. Um, and this is a, uh, I guess, uh, pump action shotgun. So it could be like um, the Spaz, the Spaz 12, right? The Modern Warfare, it could be something along those lines. Uh, I'm not sure, we'll have to obviously see much more. Uh, there is gameplay on it, apparently. I don't know when, around one minute 16. Um, so I'll have to go back and check that. This is looking like a pump action shotty. I'm not sure what the heck, why did they fire it there? What was the point of them firing? Man, the music is, they've killed it with the music, man. Embark are crazy, man. Embark are absolutely insane. Dude, I cannot wait, guys. Well, season two is going to be dropping on March 14th, three days away as well. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on this trailer as well. I'm, I'm super, super hyped for season two. It's nice to be able to actually get a lot of this stuff. Uh, first of all, you can see I've had a deep breath of fresh air now because I've been speaking so much about this. But um, yeah, this is, this is crazy. This is insane. Embark hitting us hard in season two. Will it, uh, you know, is, is it what we expected? I think it's it's very, very cool. This theme of the the the, the arcadey theme is sick. That's my conclusion of this, right? I really like the arcadey type theme. I like the nerdy type theme. I just think it's really cool. Um, and it, it's it's definitely slightly better than we expected. Three new gadgets, uh, by the way, which are adding on to that. So um, we'll have to see how that plays in the overall meta. But I can already imagine now, even the top players that are playing this game, the actual top players, not top players, but the actual top players, are probably watching this trailer and thinking about all the things and ways they can connect things together to build up an overall strategy and idea and that's one of my favorite things about uh games uh, especially with the finals is is being able to theory craft right and that's, that's something i push as well so anyway yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section below uh that's pretty much everything you can tell i'm a bit hype because i'm just yeah this is just me all right i gotta shut up anyway uh, let's let's calm down let's calm down Thix. okay here we go <clears throat> all right that is the season two trailer that is all for me my name has been Thix, and as always i'll see you on the podium